So I'm sure by now all of you have heard about ChatGPT and there is a ton of buzz around will AI replace data analyst jobs in the next 10, 20 years? People are genuinely worried about this. I get comments like this every day asking, will data analysts still exist in the next 10 years? And now many data analysts are actually worried and I actually believe this is rightfully so. In fact, according to the World Economic Forum, they believe machines and algorithms will actually be performing more tasks than humans by the year 2025. So what does this actually mean for us data analysts and data scientists? Are our jobs actually at risk with ChatGPT and all these AI advancements? So in this video, we'll be weighing out the pros and cons of AI and how it will actually have an impact on the work place for the next five to 10 years. If you are new here, my name is Rohan and I cover all things data analysis. If you're just starting out or you're trying to pivot careers into data analysts or you already are a data analyst and want to further your knowledge, this is the channel for you. I have actually created a video on how I would become a data analyst as fast as possible if I was starting from scratch and I will link that below. And I also have a community, a Discord group where people who are all interested in becoming data analysts can come together and work on projects, network, and meet new people, which I will also link below. So what exactly is AI? When we traditionally think of the term AI, we think about these sci-fi movies where we have robots taking over the world, and this is actually not the case. AI in the simplest terms is algorithms and machines trying to mimic human behavior and decision making. So what does this actually mean? It means that machines can do things that re normally require human intelligence. Some of these tasks can be understanding language, pattern recognition, and making predictions based on data and learning over time like us humans do. So I'm sure by now all of you have heard of ChatGPT. It is basically a language processor that uses NLP and machine learning to simulate human-like conversations. People have been using this for all sorts of creative ideas. Some people have been using it to actually start a business for them, give them business ideas, how to actually run the business. And some other people have been using it for recipes or book recommendations and limits are endless. But this is actually one small example of AI that exists today. Some other common applications of AI include ML, natural language processing, and robotics. ML simply means training machines to recognize patterns and predict. NLP involves teaching machines how to interpret and respond to human language. And lastly, robotics, which is basically training robots to do human-like tasks, which can be from the assembly line or even healthcare, like performing surgery. One thing is clear though, AI is here to stay and will disrupt every industry on earth. It will truly revolutionize the way we live and work. So it is important to understand the limitations of this technology. So let's talk about ChatGPT and data analyst and how they relate. While ChatGPT is an extremely impressive example of AI that can simulate human conversation, it is not a replacement for data analysts. Data analysis requires a much different skill set than what ChatGPT can provide. So I'll give an example. Data analysts don't just have to do the analysis. They have to figure out where to recommend, how to communicate, and what pieces of the analysis are important or if it's even valid. ChatGPT can't do this. They also need to understand the context in which the analysis is being done. This oftentimes requires making ethical judgments, which I don't think we can trust with ChatGPT at this point. While ChatGPT can definitely be used for generating reports and simple scripts of analysis, it can't be replaced for human domain knowledge. In fact, I actually see it more as a complementary to human data analyst. People can do traditionally very tedious task and just outsource the chat GPT while focusing on what really matters. So I actually heard the story the other day, and this kind of relates into why chat GPT won't replace humans. This PM come, goes up to my friend and says, can you convert this file format for me? I actually tried to use chat GPT, but it was not working. And when my friend looked at the script, it was totally wrong. My friend asked to see the prompt that they use in ChatGPT, and that too did not make sense. I think in order to derive value from chat GPT, you need to understand the back end. You need to understand what to ask ChatGPT, which people without domain knowledge won't be able to do. So my friend actually used ChatGPT to generate the same script that they wanted and it ended up working. And the only difference was what they inserted into the prompt of ChatGPT. So the main takeaway point, if you were to get one thing out of this video today, ChatGPT will not replace data analysts. I see it more as complementing, helping data analysts become more efficient and productive in the workplace. The next thing I wanna go over is this idea called the human factor. One of the most important parts of being the a human data analyst is being able to understand the domain and the context in which the data is coming from. This currently requires a level of intuition expertise that cannot be replaced by AI. In fact, there are many examples of how humans picked up on patterns that machines may not have picked up on. So let's pretend we're in the year 2031 and all of our decisions and data analysts is being done by machines. The retailer realizes that sales are plummeting and the machine is not able to figure out why that is. 
So the retailer decides, let's hire a human data analyst again. The data analyst picked up on something the machine missed. In fact, there was a change in the packaging, something the machine wasn't able to pick up on because it seemed so minute that was turning customers away. And right as soon as they fixed this, sales started to go up again. This may seem like an extremely small detail, but it is important to understand that there are details and there are things that machines cannot get at this point. Ultimately, the key to data analysis with AI is figuring out the right balance of human and AI interaction. By combining the strengths of both, we can achieve deeper insight, make more informed decisions, and create more effective strategies for success. Looking to the future, it is clear that the demand for data analysts will still continue to soar despite the advancements in AI. In fact, the Bureau of Labor projects that job growth for data analysts will increase by 16% from the year 2020 to 2030. This is mainly due to the fact that humans bring a unique set of skills that cannot be replicated by any machine. As we saw in the major retail example, a human may pick up on something a machine may have missed. At the same time, however, we don't know how far AI will advance within the next 20-30 years. Jobs are constantly changing. One of the most popular jobs right now is Uber. We didn't know Uber would even exist back in the 2000s, so as jobs leave, there are new jobs that are created. But for now, I don't think data analysts are going anywhere. I think there should be a big focus on how you can use machines and leverage machines to be more productive at work and do a better job. For any of people trying to become data analysts, it's important to figure out how machines and AI and ChatGPT will play a role in your work. How can you leverage this technology to be better at your job and be more productive in the workplace? But by finding the right balance between humans and machine learning, I'm sure we'll be able to drive better insights, drive innovation, and create a better future for all.